Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Thursday, March 28th, 2024. Well, how about we take a look at what happened overnight after that big surge yesterday afternoon, pushing the markets up and even, uh, well, I'll talk about that in just a second. Um, pretty amazing um, rally yesterday afternoon. Let's take a look. We had Asian markets that were mixed last night, but mostly higher. Only the Nikkei was down. Uh, they're struggling with their yen um, at 34 year lows. Um, and South Korea was down yesterday, but Australia hit a new record high. And we had Hong Kong and Shanghai rebound back higher. And I'd mentioned yesterday, Shanghai fell below that key level of 3000, but it popped its head right back above 3000 today. If we take a look at European markets, they are um, green across the board this morning, relatively modest gains. And the UK has confirmed that they are going into or are in recession um, with a new number out. So the UK is officially in recession. If we take a look at um, US markets, US markets are kind of flat. Um, as a matter of fact, when I got up this morning, they were all lower across the board, but we've already begun the pre-market pump up here to try to push things up. So the Dow futures have gone just a little bit green. The rest of the market is a bit flat. Oil this morning. Oil this morning is higher. Um, we have um, a push higher here by 74 cents in the oil futures. We're at 82.09. Brent crude continues to move up at 86.88, up 79 cents. And natural gas continues to fall here this morning, down a little over two cents. If we take a look at gold, well, gold is up $15 an ounce. Silver is moving ever so slightly higher. Copper is flat. Platinum and palladium are moving higher. And we have cryptos also responding back by this Bitcoin. The whipsaw in Bitcoin is remarkable. It's it's certainly not for most people to trade. Um, up $1,900 a coin this morning, and we're green across the board in those cryptos. If we uh, take a look at our bond yields, one of the reasons we're seeing some of these things uh, uh, slide around the way we are. The two-year bond has recovered pretty substantially here overnight, back up to 4.62% um, as we head into this morning's numbers. And the 10-year bond has also recovered a little bit to 4.22%. 30-year bond coming in right there at 4.36% this morning. So we'll wanna keep an eye on those as we roll through these data points today. Actually, tomorrow will be the biggest number to affect those, and we'll talk about that in just a moment. So what does all that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I very much appreciate it. Let's take a look at um, uh, some of the issues in the charts here and see if we can gain a little bit of information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Remember, we want to shake off our bias and really look at the chart for what it is and not for what we want it to be. Well, when I take a look at the diamonds chart here, there is just no way to not look at that as a bullish chart. Extremely bullish gap up yesterday and a run hot higher. What's interesting is that the Dow futures are way ahead of the Dow. Um, we uh, closed the Dow yesterday at, um, let me look here. Where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? We closed the Dow yesterday at 39,760, and our Dow futures at the moment are at 40,143. If you take a look um, 
um, uh, that's a big that's a big stretch above the Dow. So they really are trying to will the the, the Dow up here to the forty thousand uh, dollar mark, and I think there's every reason to believe we're going to reach that. Now I don't know if we'll do it today, based on the data, but they are they are pulling um, everything they've got. Um, to, to push this hard to the upside. Now, one of the reasons we probably saw such a big move yesterday is um, yesterday, today, um, the, today is the end of the trading quarter. This is the last trading day of the of the month and um, some window dressing coming here on the end of quarter, really trying to push us and keep those buyers buying here in the market. So they're pumping pretty hard here and we easily could see this spike on higher this morning based on the data uh, today. So. Um, We'll talk about that in a second, that I think pretty much anything is possible. But right now, very bullish chart. And if those bulls find only a little bit of bullishness here to um, inspire them, we could push right through this level and right on up to new record highs in the Dow and maybe attacking that 400 um, area in the chart. And it looks very, very possible. Um, after that, well, we'll see. Um, big round numbers in the market tend to be natural barriers, so watch carefully for that possibility. Now, if the bears um, were to find some reason to attack here this morning in the data, maybe a pushback here first to test the low of that candle, that would bring us back down about halfway through this candle and could raise a little bit of concern. If we went on further lower, that's going to bring us maybe back down to the lower side of that candle. And the concern at that point would be, would we fill this gap and come all the way back down to this trend? Now, breaking that, uh, we've got a nice support under here. And it would have to take some pretty good bearish push here to get us down into that area of the chart. So don't see that in the, in the cards here just yet. But you never know when it comes to data, those big point moves to the downside can certainly be one of those surprise things that happens if we happen to react negatively, negatively to the data today. If we take a look at our SPY, SPY, clearly very, very bullish, um, continuing to run to the upside. That was a little higher low in here, trying to push up. So you can see every reason to believe that if we get good data today, that we're going to make a new record high in the SPY and um, blue sky highs above at that point. If the bears, however, were to find some reason to attack, well, I think it would be a pretty easy thing to see here that that push back down into this little upside trend and then possibly testing the support level in the chart would be um, the next level for those bears to potentially test. If they drop through that area, well, we've talked about this before, uh, maybe coming down into here and then down into here as those next levels in the chart, that would take a pretty big push by the market. It certainly is possible, but we'll have to wait and see if there's anything in the data over the next couple of days. And by the way, some of these big moves might wait until Monday. So um, keep that in mind. Our QQQ, QQQ showing just a little bit of struggle here. Um, we have some of the big tech, we're rolling off some of the big tech giants just a little bit, um, pulling them back and that's creating a bit of a flatness here in the QQQ. And it's also helping out that rotation in the market. I'm gonna grab this line here and throw that right through there and take a look where we're coming into a nice little trend setup. However, I've got to look at this chart and continue to stay bullish on it because we're holding right in there on that potential higher low. This is a nice little resting consolidation. So if the bulls can find inspiration here, boy, I think there's every reason to believe we pop right back through there and it really wouldn't take much move after that. And we're at all time highs here in the QQQ. Now, if the bears were to engage and push lower, probably some support right through this area as you come across here, some, some support in there might catch us in that chart and pulling us back here to that trend. 
And then if that were to break, I'm going to say down in here, testing the lower side of this consolidating move in the QQQ. Now that would be a big point move and, and a painful move um, at that. So just be prepared in case we um, fire up those uh, bears. And then if we take a look at our IWM, IWM made a nice move yesterday, pushing up strongly. And I've mentioned yesterday that push up here, we need to pump through or pop through this um, big resistance area in the chart. And I'll tell you if we can do that, if we can follow through and break up in here, and the question will be break up in here and hold up here, you'll notice that we are now showing an upside trend here in the chart. We need to be able to hold up above that area. And that would be a big change for IWM. And it's one of those things that we're really starting to prove the case of this rotation. We're taking money out of some of those high flyers in the market. We're putting things into um, a very defensive type plays, um, you know, gold, silver, things like that. Um, a lot of defensive stocks, a lot of consumer staple stocks are coming up. So watch that carefully in here, uh, break through up here and those bulls could really start to push and we'll test some of these resistance levels up in this area of the chart and I'll draw those up and have those ready for next week if we hold up there. However, if the bears were to find inspiration, well, a pushback, we might push back and just test a little bit of price support in the top side of this little consolidating move. Failing down below there, we'd probably look at a failure here below that um, candle yesterday would very likely bring us into the lower side of that consolidation and then beyond that point it's not that hard to see we would be breaking down into some of these levels and probably pushing down pretty hard if we would get down into here and take some some bearish energy for sure now let's take a look at our vix our vix started up a little bit yesterday but then that surge at the end of the day pushed us right back down so you can see this big resistance area and this resistance area runs across here a long ways in the chart that resistance right across there held us as um, a, a resistance level and we're continuing this downtrend and we're pushing on lower we're back down into the 12 handles of uh, of our VIX going into the numbers today and notice we've got a big area of price support right in here and I think if the bulls are inspired today every reason to believe that we could push on down through here and we're going to start reaching some very complacent areas here in the market that's when the market kind of believes that we can never go down it's all up it's never going to go down it again and that usually um, is when you really want to start getting nervous because when the market believes it can't go down that's when in my my experience, my history in the market, that's when it really can go down. So watch carefully. What it means is everyone's in. And if we start to hint of a downside move, everyone runs for the door at the same time, trying to bail to protect capital. So watch that carefully. And then if we take a look at our uh, T20s, our T2122, up here in the, I uh, better change that to the daily, up here in the bearish reversal zone on that big stretch um, push us up very very strongly here into that bearish reversal zone so it means that if we can find bullish data today and we can push on up to maybe test that 40,000 just note that we cannot take um, this past 100 there's just no way 100% of the stocks moving up it would be kind of extreme in the market so um, we're already at showing some pretty extremes here um, in the market. So the four week new high, new low up here around 95% in that we can push on higher if we find that bullish data. But just please keep in mind if the bears were to engage, and I'm not suggesting they will, but if they were to engage here in the market, well, we have certainly opened up a big opportunity for them to um, attack if we have any reason for them to do so so watch that carefully and then if we take a look at our t2108 
percentage of stocks above the 40-day moving average. Got to give that to the bulls. They push that through that new high. We're starting to push up here and test these upper areas of the chart. Notice we've got some resistance levels up here to be paying attention to. You also want to notice as we push up into here, this is a very common area where we run into major trouble, where we're so frothy in the market where everybody is in that's going to be in. We run into trouble when that occurs. But right now, we're very, very bullish. The bulls are in control, pushing on through to the upside. No questions on that. T2107, same thing. T2107 pushing up very strongly yesterday. Big shove coming up here. We're testing some previous resistance levels in the chart here on T2107. Once again, we're reaching that area where that frothiness is coming into the market and we can run into some troubles if the bears find reason to attack. But right now, bulls are clearly in control, continuing to push higher and higher and higher in the market. And I think 40,000 is a reasonable target to be looking at here over the next uh, few trading days. If we take a look at our T2101, um, T2101 was actually pushing back yesterday morning. We were, T2101 dropped pretty hard. And then that last 30 minutes of the day, um, I think institutional pile-in occurred. And we drove the market up really hard. And it turned T2101 into a hook back up. So that breadth of the market did come back up yesterday in that um, last 30 minutes of the day, that big push to the upside. So we'll see. It's going to be interesting to see if we can follow through with that today with the pending data that we have coming our direction. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today and, and see what we've got ahead of us. Well, first off, we're going to be dealing first thing this morning with the GDP number. Now, right now, GDP consensus is suggesting flat with last time. And anytime I see that, it makes me think that they don't know what's going to happen for sure. And so they're hunting. Um, but watching this closely, if we come in like this, the market's probably going to be really happy with it, at least be okay with it. Um, if it goes um, higher, um, I could see the possibility that the market could be worried about that, meaning that the economy is heating up and that the Fed will not be able to cut rates. Um, it's also possible if it were to, to drop, the market could have a reaction to that. And that could actually be a bullish reaction saying that the market is weakening, the economy is weakening, the Fed is going to be moving forward with cutting rates. So keep an eye on that GDP number today. It's, it's, it's not so much about the number, it's how the market reacts to the number that will be interesting. Then, of course, after that, we've got the jobless claims. Jobless claims are expecting 213,000, a little creep up there in the claims. I continue to think one of these days we're going to get a big surprise in here. But so far, no, the jobs market um, maintains um, maintaining lots of strength here overall. And then we've got corporate profits, Chicago PMI, consumer sentiment number and the consumer sentiment is looking to come in here again they're punting um, not trying to make a guess here they're saying flat here on sentiment so watch that pending home sales will be coming in they're looking for a 1.3 which is a nice improvement over the negative 4.5 so keep an eye on that of the prior and then we've got a natural gas report we're going to get some bond auctions in here and then we're going to get a Fed balance sheet. Now, with that being said, with all of the volatility that we could see this morning, we may see a market that go, after we get through that volatility this morning, go pretty stagnant. First off, we've got a three-day weekend, and a lot of traders are likely going to be heading out to extend their um, their vacation plans here, their time off. So watch that carefully. We could see volumes start to drop off relatively quickly today. And then the next thing that everyone's going to be thinking about, we've got some big data coming in here when the market's closed. So kind of an interesting thing. They certainly could have moved this data into this week, but they chose to leave it on a day when the market is closed. And remember, 
This number right in here, personal incomes and outlays, is an inflation number that we're going to be watching, and it's the Fed's favorite number. Now, looking into how this is calculated, there is a pretty substantial calculation that comes from the PPI number, and we know our PPI number was hot last time. And if we start seeing this moving up, that again could dash those hopes of rate cuts and could have a negative effect on the market and that would be on Monday. So we might be kind of gleefully pushing the market higher and higher and higher, catch this number when the market's closed and who knows, um, we could get a big upside move, a big downside move on Monday morning catching people by surprise. So that's why I'm spending so much time on this. Don't get caught by surprise on this. Um, make sure you plan your risk carefully heading into this three-day weekend. There is some dangers to be thinking about. Let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar here for today. In our earnings calendar, we have some notables this morning that we'll want to be paying attention to. Um, we've got WBA, WBA pushing up here this morning in the pre-market, but notice this, is, this guy has been, um, boy, it's been hated here for a long, a long time. And maybe coming up out of this downtrend, it may be reaching a point where, hey, there's some value here. It's worth more breaking it apart and selling it off than what it's being traded for. So we're pushing through, uh, maybe pushing through this downtrend on the earnings report. Any hold of a higher low could set up an opportunity. But right now, um, watch that one carefully could easily pop up through here and we've done that many times before where we'll pop through and we just can't hold it and we come right back down um, take a look at d-o-o-o -O -O. that's our other notable for this morning and it looks like it's going the other direction they were pumping this up heading into the report looks like uh, some disappointment here this morning on that uh, that stock on the afternoon we're going to have oxm we're going to have SMTC, we're going to have SHCR, CURV, and VUZI will be on the notable list for this afternoon. But you'll, you'll probably note that those are not likely to move the market. And with the weekend, three-day weekend coming, a very good chance it will be a pretty light um, afternoon um, and with the thought process of the three-day weekend and then heading into that core PCE number on Friday. Remember the market is closed on Friday. Um, there will be no earnings on Friday of uh, that are uh, notable at all. So uh, most everything's going to be closed here. So um, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys if you could do me that quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and also click the bell icon when it pops up every time you um uh <laughs> when it pops up so that you'll receive um, a notification every time I post a video. There, I got it out. And if um, um, you feel the video was worthy, um, please do me that favor and click that thumbs up button. Leave that brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. Thank you so much for everyone who does do that. I truly appreciate it. Um, Pushing, pushing this link out on your social media feed helps an awful lot. Thank you to those folks who do that. And then also um, for those that um, continue to support the channel through the Buy Me a Coffee link. Thank you so much. Very, very much appreciated. Let's take a look at um, some of these stocks setting up. And remember, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. Do your own due diligence. Never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. And remember, particularly going into this three-day weekend, the risks that are ahead. And make sure that you have a plan to protect yourself in case, just in case, those bears do decide to wake up and make a showing. I'm not suggesting they will, but make sure you have a plan to protect yourself. Let's take a look at some of these stocks. 
Um, first off, as you guys know, um, I've been keeping an eye on a lot of things in that oil sector here in the, the market and um, take a look at rig. Rig is very, very strong and just running to the upside. Now I'm watching this resistance here in the chart and, and oil and oil exploration stocks are looking pretty good at the moment. So pushing up in here, I'm going to be watching to see how it deals with this resistance in the chart. It could rest underneath here and then show that pop through. It could pop through and rest above there and then show that pop through. So I'm going to be watching rig pretty closely here for that potential. And I know this is one of those stocks that really isn't going to cost that much to get into. And um, I get accused a lot that um, I don't cover too many lower price stocks, but it really is because a lot of the lower price stocks aren't moving that much. And uh, this is one that could be of significant interest. Take a look at XOP. XOP making that big move in here. And if I slide this up, you can see we're getting ready to attack this major resistance level in the chart on those oil exploration stocks. And um, although we had supplies increase just a little tiny bit, on um, oil supplies, our distillates and things like that were lower. So here again, we have that pressure here in the market and it's pretty common heading into Memorial Day that we see those gas prices and things continue to move up. So watch this carefully if that pops on through that resistance in the chart. And you take a look at some of the refiners, they're working really, really hard right now trying to um, get those supplies back up. You can see on Valero, this is an all-time high breakout over here in Valero, and it is finally resting back a little bit. Now, I don't know where that support's going to come into play. Our trend is way back here, but watch carefully. If that finds that price support in here, for example, if this turns out to be the price support, watch for those buyers that could potentially step up in here and push that on higher. And you can take a look at Schlumberger. Schlumberger holding in a very beautiful... Uh, consolidation pattern here right above a resistance level in the chart. And I think there's every reason to believe at some point in time in the very near future we could see it. Maybe even today we could see that push on higher here on Slumberger. Um, Halliburton showing um, that strong bullishness pushing through resistance in the chart. This little choppy consolidating resting thing that we're doing in here may see some extension. Notice that big bull candle yesterday may see some extension on up in Halliburton. So I'd keep an eye on some of those oil and gas companies out there. And speaking of oil and gas, take a look at Kinder Morgan. Now, natural gas has been terrible. It just hasn't been doing anything overall. But Kinder Morgan showing a nice bullish pattern in here. Nice pop up yesterday. Now, this is a big old resistance here in the chart. And why this is important is if this pushes on through, remember Kinder Morgan is more of a pipeline rather than a natural gas play. And if this were to pipe up, pop up through here, not pipe up through there, but pop up through there and hold, boy, this has some big upside potential, I think, breaking through that resistance in the chart. So keep, keep an eye on KMI. Let's look at a different, um, a different area of the market. Boy, Merck had a good day yesterday with approval of a new drug popping up and it helped almost everything. It helped almost everything in the big pharma sector. So keeping an eye here, Merck pushing through this resistance here in the chart. Rest, consolidate, pull back in here, look for that next opportunity in Merck for that to push on higher. Could be a big deal for the company. Watch that carefully. Um, you guys know that I'm holding a BMY and I'm looking for this longer term head and shoulders pattern to develop. Well, look what happened here yesterday. Possibly that shoulder over here starting to uh, come into play. So watch that carefully here on that chart if we can start breaking higher here in uh, BMY. Um, I'm going to be enjoying that. I do have a short against it as well. Um, I've already made 25% gains on this, so holding a piece of the position on the daily chart on this push up, break back through that resistance, hold up here, and then I'll look for that next opportunity to pick up some more BMY to the upside. So watch that carefully. I also saw Pfizer 
Now, Pfizer has been slipping and sliding uh, back to the downside, but we still have that uh, pattern forming in here. There's that inverted head and shoulders pattern that could be coming into play. I'm going to require this to push on up through that resistance and prove that you can hold up here before I jump into a trade here, but I would be looking carefully at maybe Pfizer as well. Um, Moderna also trying to move up. It's got a significant resistance, got a little more work here to do than some of the others, but certainly worth keeping an eye on. Let's take a look at some uh, financials out there. If we take a look at XLF, my goodness, we just, the big banks can't do anything wrong. They just keep pushing and pushing and pushing um, to the upside and they're driving these higher and higher. And when we look at individual names like JP Morgan, very, very strong here on JP Morgan, um, starting to push on through. If I make this a weekly, um, you can see we're pressing all time highs here in a lot of these stocks. Here's Morgan Stanley. It's flirting with all time highs here and on the daily chart showing um, that attempt to push through this resistance. So it's worth keeping an eye on there. Um, across the board, there are the big banks are doing really well. Um, here in the market. So watch that carefully. BAC pushing up. It's got a ways to go here. You can see to make all time highs, but pushing into some major resistance areas and it may break out of there soon. So keep an eye on that um, on some of the major banks. Now, when we look at our regional banks, well, we got a big surge yesterday on that push and we're trying to break this downtrend again. You can see that could place that little higher low in here. But these regional banks have some major challenges um, in them right now with a group of them that are functionally insolvent um, because of some of the real estate problems that we're seeing and the growing real estate problems that they have a piece of in China. So watch those carefully. I wouldn't be as confident here in the regionals. Um, just be a little bit careful with those. When you take a look at BKNG, however, bookings, nice pop here to back to the upside. We're recovering this support. You can see breaking through that resistance. If we can prove to hold up here, look for that next opportunity in uh, that to move on up. Tractor supply continues to look good. You notice that we popped hard. We're kind of resting it back to this uh, channel finding a little bit of price support. If the bulls step up in here, watch for that next potential move in there. And honestly, there's more bullish stocks than I can possibly cover um, uh, right now, just because there are so many bullish plays and such enthusiasm in the market. Just a buy wave came in like crazy yesterday. Again, I think it was probably some of that end of quarter window dressing, but a very, very strong buy wave came into the market. Um, CVS might be one to be keeping an eye on. So everywhere you look, there are opportunities um, in this market. URI could be setting up um, United Rentals. Keep an eye on that. Just buys all over the place. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thanks so much for being here. And more importantly, I want to wish you a wonderful, wonderful three-day weekend and a wonderful holiday. Uh, for you folks out there that are believers, this is, this is one of the biggest days of uh, holidays of the year. So enjoy that time with your family. I want to wish you all of the best. And I'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning and be ready because boy, anything could be possible after we get those numbers on Friday. Y'all take care. Be safe. Have a great afternoon.